Hey guys, this is Amit. Welcome to another Notepad++ tip. In this video, we will learn how we can use Notepad++ for note taking. Now you might say there are literally hundreds of desktop apps and, and mobile apps and web-based apps out there that can do note taking. So why do we want to use Notepad++? So there are definitely a few advantages. Uh, it is as simple as it can be. It's just a plain text. And so it is easily searchable. It's easy to manage and then you're not dealing with a proprietary format and it's easily been used in any uh, any application or any uh, operating system I meant now it does come with some dis disadvantages uh, there are no special text formattings available in notepad plus plus or there are no images but if you are looking for a very simple basic note-taking system that may work for you and if you're already using Notepad++, then this can be a handy uh, system. So how to use Notepad++ for note-taking? So in order to do that, we need to install an application plugin called Take Notes. And so let's go and install this plugin. So first, we need to go to Plugins and go to Plugin Admins. And then let's search for Take Notes. And usually it just shows up right here. And if you would like to learn more about it, you can always look at their homepage and learn about it. But this is the, the, the plugin that we would like to install. So I'm going to select that and click install. And it should restart. And so once it's restarted, the plugin is installed. Now, if I go to plugins again, uh, there are a few options for take notes plugin. One is to create a new note, you can just uh, open Control shift n But before we create any notes, let's go to the options. Now, it comes with uh, many settings. So the first setting is where would you like your notes to be stored in? So by default, it is sent to a temp, uh, which would be, I think it will be C temp or C Windows temp folder. But that may not be the best folder to put all your notes in. And so you can change that to whatever fo uh, folder that you are in. Uh, you would like to store your notes in. Now, each note name can also have a, a, a name to it. And so you can set your username and then the date and time. And then you can also set the extension of the note. So by default is dot note. So maybe I can change to dot my note. And there are some other options. It's pretty self-explanatory. But uh, if you would like to add some, you can uh, just, just check these out. What I do like is the toolbar no, uh, icons. If you notice here, there's already two out there. The one is for the new note and the other one is to open note. But I would also like to have a save and last. And as it says that it needs a, a restart. So I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to restart Notepad++. All right, so I have restarted Notepad++ and now you can see those four icons. One is to create a new note. One is for saving a note, open a note, and then the last note that you actually open. So let's create a new note. So click on new note. And now here I can actually take all my notes. So I'm going to use this as an example. And if you notice, the name of the file is automatically selected. So it is the username followed by the date, followed by the time. So I can save this and it will be saved actually under temp folder. I didn't change the folder, but you can change that under options. And so the note is saved if I close this. And if I click on the last note, it opens back the note that I was working on. I can also create multiple notes. Uh, and then once I have multiple notes, I can open those one by one. And so this is uh, the very basic uh, tutorial about how to use Notepad++ for note-taking application. Uh, so I hope you liked this video. If you did like the video, please click the like button. And please subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos like this. Thank you very much.